Alright, uh, this is going to be my first tutorial using Photoshop Elements. I'm just throwing it out there, you know, just to see if people actually enjoy these types of tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create what I call the Sin City effect. You know, where, I don't know if you've seen the movie Sin City, but they it's a, usually like a black and white film, and they keep just a couple colors. Uh, and that's what uh, we're doing right here. Um, I'm going to show you the before, which is right here, and the after right there. As you can see, I kept the pink, I kept the orange, uh, orange food here, you know, so anything that was pink or orange, you know, showed up here in the photo. You know, likewise, uh, I have a picture of my son here, and I wanted to keep the, the blue jacket and the blue eyes. So, uh, there's the before and here's the after. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today, is the, the Sin City effect, how you can, how you can uh, doctor up an image to make it look look like the Sin City effect. So it's really easy to do and uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I want to select what I want to keep and in order to do that uh, Photoshop has made this nice little quick selection tool right here and I'm just going to go ahead and select it. It's like a little magic wand and uh, you know you can just click and drag and it will select uh, similar pixels which are similar colors that are nearby uh, of what you are selecting. Now say for example your brush size is not the uh, you need to increase your brush size or decrease you can go up to here the little brush size and choose the diameter. Right now I have mine set to 70 pixels you know but you can go ahead and use the left and right brackets on your keyboard to size it as well. As you can see I'm using the the, uh, the up bracket here to increase and decrease. It's a little keyboard shortcut that keeps you away from using uh, using the menu over there. I'm just going to go ahead and just select items. Now, as you can see as I got towards the bottom it made a selection over here which I don't want. You know I'm just trying to isolate the blue. Um, you can go ahead and click the alt button or the option button on a Mac and you know you can deselect what you accidentally selected. So it's no biggie. You can always uh, always reselect things. All right, looks like I got a little bit of his ear. I'm going to uh, decrease my brush size here, and I'm going to go ahead and use the minus key, or not the minus key, but the uh, the alt button, so I can unselect that. So as you can see, it's a little trial and error, but uh, we'll, we'll get it done. All right, it's looking good. All right, so that looks good enough for me right now, and I'm going to go ahead and go up to the select and go to inverse inverse my selection. Then I'm going to go over here to the layers palette over here. I'm going to click this this option right here which is an adjustment layer which looks like a black and white cookie here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to go to hue and saturation. Now it's going to put an adjustment layer on here for us and a, a new little adjustment window will pop up and I want the saturation to go all the way all the way down to the left and that will give us black and white. So as you can see it's looking pretty good so far. Now we need to work on the eyes. All right. So what this adjustment layer does, you know, what we did over here, you can look over here in the mask. We created like a little adjustment layer mask. I'm trying not to use, use uh, you know, throw out terminology, but this is what we're doing right here. And as you can see, whatever black, whatever we have over here that is in black is sort of telling Photoshop, hey, make that object sort of see-through so it can so the bottom layer image can show through. So that's all we're doing. So if I need his eyes to show through, I need to select black, which is what I have set right here. And if you don't have have that set, you can always uh, double click this right here. You know, that little looks like a little foreground background stacked on top. If you double click that, you'll automatically get white and black. And then you can hit these arrows here to switch, or you can use the X button. And of course, just like before, you can increase and decrease your brush size then. Uh, and you go ahead and select the brush tool. And then you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and color using your brush. I'm just clicking and dragging. You know, and then I can go over here, click and drag over here to get the blue for the eyes. All right, now say like over here, I don't know if you can see it on the video, I have a little pink ear showing. Well, all I need to do is you know swap those colors and now I can sort of 
hide it. I'm, I'm recoloring that little mask with white. So as you can see, I painted his eyes that are black on here, so anything black on this layer will, will show through to whatever's on the bottom. So that's just a quick tutorial on how you can do the Sin City effect, you know, uh, in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com, and I will see you next time.